Hi, welcome to the demo of Selenium with Java. This demo is organized by softwaretestinghelp.org. I am Raga Barura, uh, instructor for this course. Let me give a brief about myself. So I have eight years of experience out of which three years I am completely in giving trainings into multiple corporates as well as to students across the globe. So I have so far given 15 plus corporate trainings as well as trained more than 6000 plus students. In this training, uh, we will train you good enough so that you can go and give interviews for automation. You can go and directly work on automation projects. So let me take you through about the course benefits you will be going to get after the completion of training or while you know getting this training what all benefits you will be going to get so in this first of all we will be having a live session so that's the best benefit you can ask me any queries at any point of time okay second we will give you a practical assignments at the end of every session so that you can practice on them Third, we will also cover Java so that you are good enough to work on Selenium because for Selenium, you should have a good understanding of Java. So we'll be covering basic as well as the advanced concepts of Java, which are required to learn Selenium. Then we will always work on a real time project. Okay, this is not something that will work on a dummy project. We will work on a real time project for this training. And we will make you work in a real-time project in your company as well. Also, if in case you miss any recording or you want to revise your concepts, then you can. we will give you an access to the video recordings of the training which we will be going through. After the training, after each session, we will give you the access to recording, presentation, assignments, etc. And you can always go to that and can access them. Then if in case it requires, you require a Selenium certificate, you can always contact us and we will give you the course completion certificate. And one and the most important thing which always, uh, you know, trainees ask, that what about the after training support so you can mail us you can you know fill up a form on software testing help.org and ask us about any query you have any concept which you are not clear enough if you have if you are stuck at somewhere you can always mail it to us and we will help you in solving that particular query so these are the benefits of joining this course and now let me take you through with the course overview because that's the most important thing before going through a course okay everyone wants to know about that so in that we'll be going to cover about the Java concepts like in the previous slide I have mentioned that we will cover the Java all the Java concepts which are required to work on selenium so we'll be covering basics all the four oops concepts exception handling file handling collections api as well the second thing is understanding on selenium web driver you might have read that there are multiple components of selenium web driver and you might have got the question now that why you have mentioned only selenium web driver as there are multiple components so i'll answer this question in a while for you then we will cover working with web objects so which is very important concept in automation always if you are good in web objects you have a that means you have a good base okay and you will be able to write a successful automation scripts okay web objects are the objects like on google.com you see google button search button search box okay so those are those is what we call it as web objects then we will discuss about the unit testing framework testng which is the most popular framework in testing industry okay that's what we will learn to make our scripts portable scalable and reusable 
then we will talk about selenium grid which is again one component of selenium where uh, if you want to access remote browsers you can do that with the help of selenium grid so we'll be talking about that maybe later on in the course then at the end of this training we will have one session on resume guidance that how you can prepare a resume to make you know uh, how you can add automation skills in your resume what to mention what not to mention what to highlight what not to highlight etc also I'll take you through with the selenium frequently asked interview questions and answers so that you are prepared enough to give any automation interview now let's talk about selenium what selenium is so let's discuss about it so what is selenium selenium is a web app automation tool so we call it as a tool it's not a tool it's an api okay which has been released by thoughtworks this is an it outsourcing company so this is the company which has released this API on seleniumhq.org website and anyone can go and download that particular libraries APIs and it is completely open source okay so uh, they are doing a great work selenium come into the picture in 2004 okay where uh, Jason against him was working on one application that was developed in Python so they were having lack of resources as well as they were having less funding for that project so they automated then it was successful then they launched it into the market now with time to time they keep on upgrading selenium initially they launched selenium with IDE that is a plugin of Firefox and we call it as record and play tool then they launched selenium 1.0 that is selenium RC which is called as remote control selenium remote control so this is what they launched uh, after having you know there were a lot of drawbacks in selenium ID that's why they launched selenium 1.0 the drawbacks which I'm talking about is like iteration you want to iterate something again and again or you want to pass on some condition you could not do that in selenium ID so that's why they launched selenium 1.0 after getting few you know issues with selenium 1.0 they launched selenium 2.0 and the issues are you know um, slow confusing commands and you know there is a server in between always which acts as a mediator so in order to in order to you know uh, improve it they have launched selenium 2.0 and that was the best release they have done so far so um, about the drawbacks which I have discussed in brief we will be discussing in detail once we will get into the course in Selenium 2.0 they launched it and it was very successful and it was also called as Selenium web driver then we have got now last year we have got Selenium 3.0 this 3.0 they have done some internal changes not uh, you know which is impacting any of the user so there are not much changes which will be going to impact to you but yes there were some internal programming changes they have done and uh, made it much lighter than previous one so the latest version currently we have in selenium is 3.0 and we have one that is called as selenium grid so the last component is selenium grid and in this selenium grid what we do is if we want to you know run our automation pack on different different system and on different different browsers this component will be helpful for us and it will allow us to execute the scripts from our system to the different different system 
remotely and that's a benefit of using selenium grid so again we'll be taking a look at that later on in the course so this is what we have in selenium okay now in the course content we mentioned that we will cover selenium web driver why we said that because we will be covering selenium 3.00 which is the latest version in selenium and we will teach you the latest things so in selenium web driver they have not named anything new to 3.0 the current name which is going with 3.0 is selenium web driver so from last uh, you know at approx 10 years people are they have launched this selenium web driver and now people are using selenium web driver if you go to any company you will find that people are using selenium web driver people are not using remote control which is the oldest version first reason second this has been deprecated if you go to the documentation of selenium you will see that this particular component has been deprecated already and uh, why we don't use uh, selenium id and why we don't learn of course we'll give you a brief session on selenium id okay but yes we don't use it we just use it to create prototype of test okay so that's why we don't uh, go into deep in selenium id and we mainly focus on selenium web driver okay so let's do one thing let's take an example of selenium web driver how it works okay how automation works how things automatically work let's see that it will be interesting so this is eclipse ide uh, this is one of the integrated development environment in this environment we write our automation scripts and how do we write it we go to file new and first of all we will create a Java project here so the Java project we can give any name to this project so let's suppose software testing help so it is setting up the build path and all the things required in this so let's wait for a few seconds so here we have created project software testing help and in this we'll be going to add selenium libraries so you can download selenium libraries from seleniumhq.org so i have already downloaded one so what i'll do i'll add it right here by doing the right click on this going to properties then java build path and here you go to libraries and press add external jars button and in this so i have stored it somewhere and this is the latest version I have so I'll select that particular version and click open press OK and it will set up this in my project and done so here you can see now I have got a link for the reference folders and here I have a source in this source I'll be going to create a package where I'll be going to store all my classes so first is to create a package so let's take demo package and in this demo package let's create a new class because in this class we'll be going to write our you know our automation scripts so selenium example so we are currently working on selenium web driver we have just now added selenium libraries and now we have created a new class that is called as selenium example and in this class we'll be going to write an automation script 
So what to do in this? I'll be going to create a main method because this main method in Java will only be executed. Whatever I'll be going to write in this will only get executed in Java. So of course, we when we will start the course, we'll learn from scratch. So I'll explain you about each and everything that what is public, what is static, what is void, what is main, what is this, so each and everything. So, but here you can see we have created a package demo, then we have created a class, and in that we have created a main method. Okay, so the first step is to add system.set property. We are setting the property for the browser. Okay, that we want to open Firefox, suppose. And then here we will add a value. So the value will be your Firefox driver, so which you can download directly from SeleniumHQ.org download page. You will get the Firefox driver. So uh, you will not get it by the name of Firefox driver actually. You will get it by the name of Jeco driver. So this one, Jeco driver. So now let's, I have already saved it in some location, so I'll go and get it. So in resource, I have it right here, Jaco driver. The latest version is 0 0.16.1, which I have right now. So let me just get the path of this. And this is the path, let's copy it, and let's paste it right here. So in Java, it does not actually accept this type of backslashes. So what we'll be going to do is we'll be going to add it or make it in this way. And done. Now the error which is coming has gone. Now we will write web driver driver equals to new Firefox driver. So this web driver is an interface where Firefox driver is a class because I want to open Firefox. That's why I have used Firefox driver class. I've created an object of Firefox driver and now what I'm going to do is, if I say driver dot, you will see all the methods which are present in this particular interface. Okay, so I am able to see all the methods which are present. So first is what we'll be going to do is we'll be going to open a particular website. So we'll be navigating to a particular website and how to do that? We have a get method and it asks for the URL in the param here in the arguments you will need to pass on the URL which you want to open. So I have one website that is GMO online. So you will paste this website link here. Now this website will open up. If I run this, it will open up. So let me show that to you as well. Do the right click in your workspace right here and you will get run as Java application. Press OK and in the console you will see that what all things are happening here. So let's wait. So it is loading the Jaco driver now and it has opened up Firefox. Now it will navigate to this site. So it's working perfectly. Now let's do some more stuff in this. So let's click on this enter GMO online. 
So if you click on this, move your cursor in this. So first of all, what is this? You might have not seen it. So we have downloaded two plugins in Firefox. One is Firebug and one is Firepath. So with the help of these plugins, we are able to or we are locating the elements or we are locating the objects on the web page. We also call them web objects. We also call them web elements. So you can call it anything. Now let's locate it. We located this and we have got name equals to B submit. So we have different different locators in Selenium to help us in automation. In this, we'll be going to use one locator. Now, what is locator? Locator is the one which is going to help us to locate these elements. So let's see that. First of all, let me verify. I'm writing here XPath myself. Okay, so uh, in the in the sessions in the course, we will train you that how you can write your XPath yourself. XPath is also one of the locator. So I have created here one of the XPath, and I'll write here driver that go to this website and find element. Use this method find element by which locator. So by is a class here where we have all the locators. So in Web driver, we have class name, CSS, ID, link text, name, partial link text, tag name, etc. So we have multiple locators in this. So I want to use XPath this time. So I've used it. And I'll paste inside the locator XPath which I have created. So what I did first, I have went to the site. Then I looked for the element with the help of XPath locator, that is this and I'll click on this website. So I'll click on it and this will come up. So I'll click. But before moving on to the next step, I would like to tell you that on every website, whenever we visit to any website or any web page, we wanted to make sure that we are landed on the correct web page or not. So for that, if you go back, we wanted to verify whether we are landed on the correct web page or not. So for this we use title. So every web page has a unique title. Okay. So now what is the title? If you go to the HTML and search for title tag. So this is what we call as title tag and this is the title we have okay which you can see it right here by moving your cursor to this as well so this is the title so let's get this title as well so let's write driver dot get title it will get you the title of the web page so we can print it Navigated to home page. Now we will click on submit button and it will take us to the next page that is this, which is showing us some products, which is showing us some unit price, etc. So let's verify it title as well. So we can write it in this form that go to this and give me the title okay once you enter in this page in the new page what do you want to do you want to enter some quantity here and then you want to place an order so let's go ahead and enter some quantity in this if you go and see here is what we have name as QTY tents. So in this name, 
I'll use a name locator in this case and will enter my whatever I want to enter in this but if I go to the next one as well so the name is different so whenever I am going to select a locator it should be unique when I go to the third one let's see it is also unique so all the ones are unique and I can pick any one of them let's pick Glacier Sunglasses so let's use this name and let's write here driver dot find element by dot name and inside that what do you want to do I want to save it in a web element so the return type of this is web element you can store driver.find element in a web element why I have stored it so that I can first you know come here clear this up and then give my quantity so I'm saying element dot clear and then I'll say element dot send keys send keys is used to enter anything inside the box so I want to enter here suppose 5 so I enter it 5 and done let's go to the next step which is clicking on place in order button so let's locate it the name is place in order or the name here is this B submit we can use the same XPath which we have created or we can use a different locator as well like name so we can write here driver dot find element by dot name go to this and click so I'll be going and clicking on place an order once I click I moved on to the next page so let's print the next page again okay then we get the step that is proceed with order so let's select this proceed with order again there is a name that is B submit so let's use it that go and click on it so I'll click with proceed with order button and it takes me to the billing information then again I'll verify the title of this page web page that what is the title of this web page then it asks me for billing information so let's do one thing let's locate all these text boxes all these things and then place the order so let's locate elements the name is bill name so let's use name locator this time as well so let me do one thing let me copy multiple times because there are multiple text boxes so the first text box name is bill name so let me put bill name what is the bill name Saint Keys Raghav Arora let's suppose then we have the next one that is address so address let's pick the name bill address billing address is let's take New Delhi then we have city so name is bill city let's put bill city and send keys New Delhi then we have state bill state let's run send keys and let's put it what to put uh, sorry bill state it is I have not copied it Delhi then I have zip okay so let's copy it 
and let's send something in the zip code then we have phone number so let's pick name locator again phone number so phone number is of 10 digit we can enter any 10 numbers 8 and 2 10 then we have email ID that is this so let's select the email send keys Aurora underscore Raghav at the rate suppose this an email ID and then we will click on this so that it copies it from here itself so if I enter here suppose Raghav Aurora so it should be copied right here so it is copying that's perfectly fine so let's click on ship to click on this button and the name is ship same as bill so again let's copy it and we will use click function to click on the checkbox so copied paste it here and done so you have filled up the above form bill to and ship to let's enter the credit card number as well so to go to the credit card select the card number again so here we'll be going to add card number and in this we will put the card number and that can be 373737 373737 three, 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 and done after that it requests for expiration date let's enter the card date as well this is the card date and here I can put the card date suppose this one suppose that we will click on place this order button so let's click on it and that's the same one so I can copy it from somewhere else done so we'll click on place button it will take me to the next page and we can say the we can call it as the final page so navigate it to final page and whatever it is it will print that and then I can close it driver dot close I can close the browser I can and then I can quit the session of what we have created so let me give you a brief once again what we have done so that you get an idea we navigated to a site using get method then we fetch the title of that that is whatever the title we are landed the website means we have landed on GMO post so we have got the title of that after that we clicked on a submit button then we entered the quantity of glasses that is 5 then we continued and get the title then we again continue to place an order so we added the quantity here if you see here if I go back we see this place order page so we clicked again then we entered the bill to details and then we fetch the final title and then we close the browser but there is one thing which we have missed that is driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicit weight so what this implicit weight does if you have observed what the simplified weight does if you have observed that when we navigate from one page to another page what happens it takes time to load and that's what we have given here using implicit weight that when it navigates from one page to another page it loads up completely 
and then continued with the execution else what will happen it will throw us an error that unable to find element why because if you click on this and suddenly you click on this and you didn't wait for it to load it will start searching for this locator in the page and it will not find that so what I did here I have asked that to wait for it for the web elements to load and then continue with the execution I have provided 30 seconds of wait it requests for two parameters that is the second number of you know seconds and here if you want to give seconds microseconds hours days so you can convert it into days as well that it's 30 days wait for 30 days wait for 30 seconds so it's up to you what you want to select so we are done with this script let's run it and let's see how it works press ok and let's see how it works so it is loading the web page it is going inside printing it then proceed with order then completed done so it was so fast that you can see that it has printed each and everything that it navigated to welcome green output then it navigated to the same one the title is same then it navigated to online catalog then place order then the billing information so that's how we write our selenium script so this is just a very very basic script okay you'll be going to see much more complex script and that on to the much more complex websites okay so that's it from my side and I hope you understood a lot of concepts and I hope uh, I would say we'll meet you in the course then thanks thanks for your time bye bye